That is also an, oh my goodness. It's a platinum. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the angelfish have arrived. There's no need to talk like that. Yeah, boys, the angelfish are here. Angelfish, they've just arrived. Literally, the door's just gone. Um, the delivery drivers at the moment have to knock on the door. They leave the package outside, and then you open the door, and then they're sort of down the road somewhere going, hello, your package is there. <laughs> have a little look, let's have a little look. Here is the package. It's a big old package, there's quite a lot of fish in there. Oh my goodness. Is there an angel fish in there? There is. I can't wait to see them. <laughs> okay. okay, this is exciting. I have never done this before. I've never received stuff in the post. I've never unboxed it. I've never done that on my channel, I don't think for you. No, no, I haven't, because I haven't done it. So how could I have done it? What? <laughs> Anyway, this is all going to be a bit hard for me to film. So for the first time ever, I might actually get my wife, Kate, to come in and film for me. A camera, camera per person. Ca a camera person. This is getting like legit now, guys. <laughs> They're taking it to another level. Full production, camera crew, lighting, shipments of stuff. Right, before we start, guys, I just want to send a big thank you to Sims Tropical Fish because they've really come through here. Not many people are shipping at the moment at all. And in fact, I think they're like one of the only ones and they are shipping. So if you want to get some fish, go to simstropicalfish.co.uk right now. Oh yeah, and by the way, guys, my wife is filming. Say hello, Kate. No? No. <laughs> she's she's going to come on camera in a minute, aren't you, as well? No. No, no, no. Right, let's have a look at the packaging. Right, so what we've got, decently packaged. Couple of heat packs which are still warm. Can you confirm still warm, Kate? Confirmed. Confirmed. Some gloves as well because we can wear these if we're worried about getting COVID, which I'm not. <laughs> Some bubble wrap. Oh, look, nice. Look, this stuff, if you want to go to the moon, you can use this to cover your spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> and normally my wife doesn't laugh at my jokes, so that's really good. Give a fish first, guys. This is going to be. These are. Something, I don't even know, I can't see. I don't know what they are, but they're cool. Then obviously everything's not colored up because it's been in this box. How do they feel? Versus that. Yeah, it's dead. They're, they're slightly cooler. They're not much actually, there's not much in it. So that's really well done. They're not rummy nose for sure. I don't even know what they are. But all I do know is they're all alive and healthy, which is cool, they're looking good. I don't know what they are. They are a type of Tetra, I think. Anyway, we'll find that out when they color up. Right, just quickly, competition time, guys. If you want to win all this Tropica stuff we've got here, we've got a CO2 system with disposable cylinders to refill. We've got scissors, we've got tweezers, wave scissors. We've got the lot. Well, not the lot, we've got that. <laughs> all you've got to do is like the video, comment below, comment win, and then you've got to share this on any of your social media. So like Facebook, Instagram, or Reddit, or whatever. You know, just share it. And then what I'll do is I'll pick the winner at random. Now this applies to everywhere in the world. Screw it, I'm just gonna pay for the postage. Don't know how long it's gonna take at this moment, but you know, I'll just pay for it anyway and I'll ship it out to you, whoever I pick from random. I'm gonna put all the names in like a random generator thing and click go. I'll do that live so you guys can see it. it's all proper and legit. But yeah, back to the video. So we have got at the bottom here some Corys, looks like. Uh, no, they are rams. We've got some rams. Okay, what else have we got? What else have we got? This is, ah, that's one of the angels. I don't want to show you those yet because I want to get all the angels out together. Another heat pack. Okay, that's why it's nice and warm in here. We've got two heat packs so far. This is a big one. Whoa! Whoa, they are massive Corys. <laughs> Giant Corys in there. And there's some small ones as well. So we've got an albino one. I think they're emerald Corys. I think, yeah, they look like emerald corys. Oh, they're gonna look brilliant. Okay, so they are going into the Angelfish Aquarium. Oh, we've got stir pie, we've got, we've got the, uh, the emeralds, and we've got albino, I think, as well, which is awesome. That is also, an, oh my goodness. It's a platinum. I think it's a platinum. I, I'm not great with like what they are. I'm, I'm, this is like the first time I've looked at the camera. I'm sorry, guys, I've completely forgot I was supposed to be filming because this is all new to me, so. Are you excited as well, babe? So excited. <laughs> First angel. It's like a marbly one. <laughs> Again, I'm not gonna be, these are all gonna look so much better, guys. Can you get that, Kate? We're all gonna, I'll just put him in a tank. He's moving, he's moving, he's moving around my way. Bless him, he's just come out of the box. He's got his 
light in his face, but he's right. The best thing to do would be to turn off the lights, and I will do once they're in there, guys, and settle in. But obviously, if I do that, you guys aren't going to see anything, so it'd be the worst unboxing ever. It'd just be a man in the dark talking. <laughs> okay, that's one, that's one. Let's do this quickly so we can get them settled. Um, and there it is, look, that's the platinum one, I think. All white. Uh, it might just not have coloured up yet, I don't know, but maybe they're a hint of blue there as well, but oh, that's looking beauty. Looking beautiful. Okay, let's get that one in as well. Okay, this one's similar to the first one, but it's got more black on it. Okay, I think it's like a koi, like you call them a koi one. I could be wrong, you guys will know more than me. And everyone will comment below, oh, actually, it's, I think you'll find it's a... <laughs> this is going to look so much better when they're actually, obviously, in the tank. Ooh. And we have got a really nice dark one. Oh, that's cool. It's black, but it's got like white, like white Silver. silvery slashes across it. Okay, so I think this is more like an Ultim one, to be honest, or more sort of your natural colours. So again, it's, you're not going to see a lot now because it's not coloured up at all. But that looks to me like the sort of natural colourations you get for the Ultim style ones. Well, they're all great. I'm just going to turn off the lights now, close it down for a bit, let them settle, let them all temperature Really struggle saying that. Let them all temperature acclimate and then we'll come back in a bit, all right? And there's no, Kate. No no no. no, no, no. No, no. Too late, you're on. No, I'm not. Are you, how, what do you think of the finish? Don't even film it because I'm not even going to go on it. What do you think of the finish? Take, get it off. I don't want, if you put that on the video, I'll be so angry. Now you're making yourself look silly. No, turn it off. Tens of thousands of people are now looking at you get angry no, at me. Because it's not live. No, but they will be. <laughs> okay, don't worry. My wife watched the footage back afterwards. She was fine for me to include it. She was a bit worried about coming across as being grumpy, but you know, she's smiling at it. She takes it all in good jest, so we're all good. And as a quick note, because I know that many of you guys are going to ask again, what's the lighting on a tank? Well, it is just two little LED floodlights. The link is in the description, goes to my Amazon affiliates thing. I get a small percentage, you get some cool cheap lights, but it works so well. I mean, I've grown all of this look with it. I mean, you don't need expensive lights. Don't get me wrong, they work great. Like the, the twin star ones, for instance, are absolutely immense. I mean, you can just see that in that tank there. But you don't have to have that. If you don't have that budget, then you can start smaller and work your way up. So these are a really, really good option. Brainless, brain, is that how you say it? Brain, brain series, Tetris. Anyway, they're, they're really cool. So I, the, I didn't order these at all. I said to the guys at Sims Tropical Fish, send me something cool, like, I don't mind what it is. As long as it suits the water parameters and the rest of the fish, I don't mind. Put them nice and steady. Let them swim out. Here we go. Obviously they're still not fully coloured up guys, so they'll be a lot better than that. They are looking cool. Okay, up next we're gonna put in the quarry. So I've got those massive emerald quarries, which is cool, and the stir pie, stir, I don't know, you guys know. I don't, I'm not good with names. Here you go, little fellas. Whoa, they're huge. Look at the size of them. Oh, there's one left. In you go, buddy. Is he in? There he is. Oh, he's tiny compared to those emeralds, look. So as I've said to you guys, the quarries are important for cleanup. You don't want any debris just sort of sitting on the bottom layer. Uh, you can get around that of a massive power head, but in aquascaping we don't tend to do that. So we rely on our livestock to do sort of all the jobs for us. So I've got, I've got lots more other things coming, of course, but you don't want to put too many fish into a tank. And what, I don't know why I'm crouching down. <laughs> you don't want too many fish in the tank in one sort of sitting. What we've got here is just about right. I've also added a ton of the fluval cycle beneficial bacteria as well. Probably didn't need it because there's a lot of actual uh, shrimp and snails in the in the tank already that would have been generating waste, you know, which gets the filtration process started or the cycling process started. But I've just added it anyway because it doesn't hurt, right? Okay, so now we've got just the angel fish left. Uh, he's cut. He's already colouring up really nicely, and then it can just gently be released. There's our first angel, guys. Whee! They're only tiddlers at the moment, but that's got. Oh, look how cute that little albino cory is, Kate. We've got we've got a, a few big ones in the discus tank. You see, look next to my finger, it's tight. Whoa, there's the beast. Okay, so right, that's that's one angel in. There we go. Yay! Go find your friend. 
Look at you, Kate, professional videographer. Videographer now. See that? This one's probably the biggest one as well, actually, out of all of them. Okay, in he goes. There we go. Hello, see? I think that causes the least stress on them because they're not like all wrapped up in, in the netting. You saw how quickly you put them in and they just like gently float off. But I think that is an Ultim if you look at the coloration because it's got the slight, it's got that slight sort of yellowy tone to it rather than just, just a, a standard striped. Oh, I think that's going to look really cool in a couple of hours when this all colours up really good. This is a platinum and it's going to look awesome in the tank. There you go fella. Oh look at that. That is looking good. Okay, so we've got the Ultim, or possible Ultim, or at least Ultim looking. We've got the Platinum. We've got the gold, two gold marbled or koi marbled, whatever. And then we've got the black one there. And we've got all the, all the Tetras over this side. Oh, this is cool. So it is now the next day, guys. The fish has settled in absolutely brilliant. We've not lost a single fish, which sometimes can happen with shipping, you know, live animals. But everything's really good, so that's awesome. Now, one thing I have noticed is that the angel fish are still a little bit shy. They're not skittish though, which is nice. So I can come in the room, like just then. I came in, I turned the lights on, because um, it's a little bit earlier than I usually put them on. So I had to do it manually. And they're not skittish, they're not flying all over the tank. None of the fish actually are. So let's take a closer look and I can show you them in more detail. Right, first of all, the emeralds. Look, those are the emerald quarries. Look at uh, the stir by. These are the stir by ones. They're so nice looking. That's the stir by. Look at that, look at those orange sort of wings on it. Oh, so nice, loving that. I'm definitely gonna get more of these quarries because that is such a nice looking quarry, which is, look how quick it is, I can't even keep up with him. But you cannot deny how stunning the emeralds are as well, look. I didn't even know I liked large quarries, but these guys are like little puppies, just like the Aranju crew, they're so nice. Such gentle looking fish, aren't they, quarries? Oh, hello, little worker right there, Otto Sinclair's catfish. And here, guys, is the Platinum Angel at the back there. Look at that. So stunning. Then there's the Buenos Aires Tetra. Look, they constantly school together. I didn't know they school that well. Uh, this is the first time I've actually seen them. The first time I've seen them since it's been sent to me. Researched them. They look absolutely great. They all suit the waters, which is brilliant because they're South American. And then also over across into the... I'm going to show you more of the angelfish in a second. Just, just to say, look, these are the Bolivian rams in the end they are. Uh, which means that I'm going to take them out of the freshwater reef and they can come into the full sort of South America. It's the South American as well, to be fair. So we've got a South American reef tank, freshwater reef tank. And then we were supposed to be doing the Angelfish Jungle, but it turns out that obviously all the fish are well suited together. So I'll definitely be moving the Bolivian rams over into this tank. And that'll be pretty much stocked out, in my opinion. A few more detailed fish, but that's it. At the back there, look, next to the platinum, you can see the black one, or the, the, the black marbled. And hiding in here, look, we've got the gold marbled or koi or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really matter what it's called, does it, guys? At the end of the day, it's just cute. And then down the bottom, look, now this Ultim one is starting to colour up really nicely. I think it's Ultim, guys. Let me know in the comments because you guys know better than me. But from what I can tell and from what I've searched, he is. So that is the end of the vlog guys and what an absolutely fantastic experience it's been for my first time ordering fish online. Once again a massive thank you to Sims Tropical Fish 
link in the description for hooking me up in this really really difficult time much appreciated and the fish are absolutely amazing you've all just seen i mean i don't need to show you again but they're absolutely fantastic in the next video i'm going to be putting in the bolivian rams across into the tank and also bringing my children in and letting them just see the whole thing for the first time as well they were really excited about seeing the angel fish but i didn't want them to see the fish until they are fully colored up and looking at absolute best and now they are. Are any there? Oh, there they are. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Click the like, click the subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.